Yep, keep staying back on your seat pocket so you're not up in your thigh. It's good. Yep, kind of sit back on your turns to help her. And then keep that same speed by that Summit Ranch sign. Good. Sit back a little more. Anytime you feel like she's losing her balance or getting pacey, think of sitting back to help balance her. Okay. Yep. Good. So now I'd stop her because right there she looks gorgeous and give her a break so she knows that's the right thing. desensitizing it to her so she could hear the rhythm of her gait. And if she lowers or makes her head higher, that's going to change the rhythm of your keys too. So like the next time around, I'd go to your running walk. Oop. So we just put it on the throat latch so that way it's going to shake and so she can hear it. Now try to go to your running walk and then see if you can hear it. You're good. So before you were a little faster for your running one. There you go. So hear that rhythm, but don't go past it. The hardest part is to keep the same rhythm all the way around when you don't have a speedometer. Yep, sit back just a little more. You're starting to tilt. Yep. Okay, and then stop her over here for a second. I'm going to tell her to go a little faster. Yep, keep looking up, don't look down. Yep, try not to pull your hand to your thigh too much. Okay, so we're trying to go a little faster. I would go even a tiny bit faster than that. I think she's got it in her if we didn't wear her up. There you go. Yeah. Now she shakes her head more if it's a little bit higher. If her head's a tiny bit higher. So if you want more head shake, just a little lift and then leave her alone and try it again. But keep your leg on her. Just matters how much head shake you want. So she was just pacing and she corrected. There you go. Yep, so in the corner, she gets a little pacey. So just half halt once or twice through the corner to help her. Now stop her. Whoa. Yep, because she was good. And then give her another break. We're going to try to keep the same speed. That's good. Now she slowed down a tiny bit. It was just a little. So you can hear my keys. 
god. You're keeping better rhythm. You're doing good. So go around one more time. See your ears flopping too. And her head's shaking. And now we're going back towards the uh, running walk. She's going to try and keep her head up a little bit so we get more head shake. That's good, yep. Yeah. So in the turn, she's supposed to sit back and half halt because that's where the mare gets a little pacey is in the turn. So she's trying to help balance her through it. You're doing good. Your corners are much better. Yep, there she's picking up speed. Woo! another gear but then she hit the corner and got pacey yeah you can try it again she might be able to hold it again what was that it's more like a show gate i mean it's a running walk but she's really flying yeah there that's more there that's more towards a rack because her head stopped shaking so much so again, if, you, if you're flying, but there's no head shake or not much of one, then you're more towards a rack okay. or step pace. One's, yep. Sit back just a little more. Yep. So be, what I would do is slow her down like two strides before the corner if you're going to try and go that fast. So that way by the time you hit the corner, she's slowed back down so she doesn't pace. So sit back. Good. And then at, once you're through the corner, then you can speed up a little bit, but keep your upper body back. And just half halt if you feel like she's taking a lot of speed. So she went towards a rack for a second. Now she kind of got a little pacey and step pacey. Now she doesn't look as good. Yep. So you might have to go back to your flat walk, like slow her down. Like slow way down, kind of get the rhythm going again and get her correct footfall and then slowly speed her back up. Because otherwise she's getting a little too lateral and then it's changed her gait. That's it. So we won't give her a break, but she gets to walk and then slowly pick up the speed again. But keep sitting back. Keep your eye up. That's better. Yep. And then once you're out of the corner, just ask for a little bit of speed, not as much as you were going for. <coughs> Slow her down for a minute. So keep trying, frame her up a little bit more for the moment. Keep sitting back. You'll half halt through the turn. Keep sitting back. Yup, keep holding her together. So keep helping her because she's probably getting tired now. Ask for a little bit more speed, but I want you to help her some. Keep sitting back. Keep trying to have halt on it. That's better. Yep. Now stop her. Yep. Give her a break for a second. So I think she's just getting tired. So now she's not holding it on her own. 